Hello everybody and welcome back. Today is October 28th, 2022, which as you probably already know is the release date of the newest Super Deluxe Edition by the Beatles. This is going to be the Revolver album that has been remixed by uh, Giles Martin and Sam O'Kell. And luckily for me, this package arrived today from Amazon. So we'll open this up together and take a look at this product here. And with any luck, we'll have a non-damaged item from Amazon, so we'll keep our fingers crossed for that. Now I placed an order for this uh, Super Deluxe 5 CD box set as soon as the Amazon links went live. And uh, just checking the other day, I noticed that it said that it was going to be arriving at my door on November 11th, which is kind of surprising because... Uh, I was probably one of the first ones in line to get this ordered. You'd think that I'd have priority uh, from other, all the other people that have ordered, but no, it said it was going to arrive on November 11th. So uh, I looked at the, the listing page on Amazon and it said, uh, place your order and you'll get it on release day. So I canceled that previous order and I uh, redid the order, ordered it again, and Luckily enough, it came today on release day. So that's a little tip for some of you out there. If, you're, if your order says that it's coming a little, little bit later, maybe you want to cancel that order and reorder it again. Uh, here we got some nice bubble wrap, which is always a good sign. And we have another box to open. So this is the actual box that the item comes in here. You can see there it says Beatles Revolver. So we'll open this up and take a look. Packaging looks pretty decent, so I'm pretty confident that this is going to be in pretty decent shape here. No, uh, no real damage, I hope. All right, here it is. Set that off to the side. Now, before I show you this, I want to say that I have held off watching anybody's unboxing videos of this. I wanted to be surprised. I didn't want to see what I was going to be getting. So uh, I'll be seeing this for the first time, as probably many of you have as, are as well. So here we have the front of the box. And the hype sticker there. Uh, let's see here. We've got the Beatles Revolver Super Deluxe 5 CD Edition new stereo mix by Giles Martin and Sam O'Kell. We got two session CDs of outtakes, rehearsals, and uh, studio chat. Uh, we have the original 1966 mono album, and there's a bonus EP with paperback writer and rain and new stereo mixes, and a 1966 mono mix. And also there's a hardcover book in here, a 100-page book uh, with a Features a forward by Paul McCartney, uh, historical, extensive historical and track-by-track -track information, rare photos, and memorabilia. All right, and here's the back. And if you look at the track listing here, we, on the first CD we got the new stereo mix, and then CD2. There's a list of sessions there, some more sessions, and of course the mono, and the bonus EP. Uh, a lot of people complaining that there's no uh, Blu-ray with 5.1 surround mix in here. Um, to be honest, I'm not too, too concerned about that. Uh, some of the other sets back here have the 5.1 stereo, or you know, surround sound mix. And to be honest, I have maybe listened to those once, and I've never listened to them again, so I'm not too too bummed out about that. But a lot of you might be. Um, also, some people complaining about uh, the fifth disc here is just uh, four tracks, and technically it's only two songs, but it's repeated, you know, from stereo and mono. Um, I think they're kind of trying to cater to uh, both the five CD set and also the vinyl set, where when you get the vinyl uh, set, you get the EP there that's 
kind of a cool addition. Just it's the vinyl 45, uh, which is a little bit out of my price range at this point, but I'm hoping eventually down the road that'll uh, come down in price and I'll be able to pick that up for a lot cheaper than what it is right now. All right, we'll slice this open here and take out the contents and see what we got. All right, there's the box. And first up here, this is kind of cool. It looks like an actual LP. Well, I'm assuming you open this up and the discs are in there. And of course, that's correct. All right, first we have the Revolver New Stereo Mix. There's the CD. And it looks like these are on the, got a Parlophone label on there. All right, and the next CD in the slot here is the original Mono Master. Basically looks the same there. And again with the same Parlophone label. All right, moving over to the next page here, we got the Revolver Sessions 1. Uh, this is kind of cool. They got the original design for the Revolver album. Uh, Interesting cover, but re re eventually rejected by the Beatles in favor of Klaus Vormann's iconic album cover design. Okay, and here's like a Parlophone, almost like a promo label. It's kind of cool looking. So that's Sessions 1 and Sessions 2. You can see it's got a white background instead of a black background for the second disc and again that same white white label and lastly the e bonus EP kind of in a replica Parlophone 45 sleeve along with the 45 label I should also say that I haven't heard any, I think I heard maybe one one track that they released earlier, uh, but I haven't really listened to any of, any of the new mixes or sessions or anything like that online, so I was just kind of waiting until I got this. Um, here's the, the hardcover book. It says Revolver there. And it's, I'll try and see if I can get it in the light. You can kind of see it's kind of a gloss there. And then in the corner they got kind of some of the the hair from the album cover. That's a kind of a nice touch. Revolver there and the Apple logo on the back. Now it's always hard to show books on videos like this, but I'll do my best to give you a glimpse of what's included here. We got the track listing there on the first page. All right, and here's the contents. We got the four by Paul McCartney, an introduction by Giles Martin, a uh, little section there by Questlove, um, the Road to Revolver by Kevin Howlett. Uh, the rest of these must be by Beatles historian Kevin Howlett. There, track by track, the cover and the Revolver reception. So try and give you a look at some of the pictures here. Some really cool photos in here, some that I've never seen before. This looks like a really well done book. Really nice, nice quality. 
All right, we'll just kind of flip through here and well, we'll start here with see so you got the as far as the track by track stuff we got, you know, the song title and uh, uh, when it was recorded and who played on it and the dates and everything like that. So it's going to be really interesting to read that. So you've got some, a lot of different copies of uh, the handwritten lyrics. So it's kind of interesting to see how the uh, songs evolved that way. A lot of tape boxes. Some nice pictures here. All right. Looks here like we got some uh, some drawings here by Klaus Vorman, the artist for the cover, an old time friend of the Beatles. Advertising pictures here. <clears throat> All right, that's pretty much it for the book there. Yeah, really nice hardcover book. That's I really really like that. I'm looking forward to reading that. So that's pretty much all that's included here. Um, like I said, the the LP, the vinyl set was a little bit out of my price range at this point, but um, as with a lot of the other ones, they've really come down in price. Some of them you can get pretty reasonable. Um, so I'm hoping that happens within the next few months to a year or so. And I'll be able to pick that one up. And you know I'll show it here when I get it, or if I get it. Um, so. There you have it, the five CD Super Deluxe of the Revolver album. Um, I'll put a description in the, or some links in the description below of ways you can get this and the other versions. So be sure to check those out. And I want to thank everybody for watching, and I'll see you guys on the next video. Take care.